We're also following a developing story out of USD today. The football program is being investigated for hazing among players. This comes after an incident was reported last week during preseason activities. Fox 5's Frank Jefferson is live for us at the school to tell us how the program plans to move forward from here. Frank. This all started when a player on the team missed a meeting and USD's coaching staff, they reached out, tried to see where he was, later finding out that he was involved with a hazing incident. When we asked head coach Brandon Moore about the nature of the hazing, all he told us was that this is still a part of an ongoing investigation. Personally, I was, um, I was upset, um, hurt and troubled. That was USD head coach Brandon Moore's reaction to finding out some players on his team were hazing. The nature of whatever has occurred um, is not indicative of the sport or how it should be played. On August 18th, there was a team meeting and a player was missing. Coach gave that player a call, finding out about the hazing. In a statement from the university, no players were physically harmed during the incident, but those who hazed will be suspended from football activities. Right now, we're so focused on the mental health of our, of our scholar athletes and just trying to provide an environment for them that they can that they can take the next step. That next step taken on the field. Moore talks balancing the hazing incident while navigating his first year as head coach. Well, I'm a coach who is all about loving his players. Um, so I think that I'm, I'm in the right place at the right time. I think I'm, I'm where I'm supposed to be. USD's football program working to prevent any other hazing incidents by becoming more player focused. We're going to indoctrinate, you know, my plan, and that's love. We're going to love these kids um, on and off the field, and we're going to do whatever we can to, to impact their lives in that way. One thing to note, the player suspensions are indefinite, and USD hasn't released any details about how many players are involved in this hazing. USD's next game and first game of the season is going to be next Saturday on the road against Cal Poly, looking to put this hazing incident behind them and get back to focusing on football. Live at USD, Frank Jefferson, Fox 5 News. Yeah.